It is your turn. It is your no. Go. So just how much of a difference could Jim Harbaugh make right away? The excitement is obviously through the roof after landing one of the best coaches in all of football, and he might not have to make as many changes as it might seem. So here's the deal with the 2015 Wolverines. The defense was actually fantastic last season, and now it gets four starters back in the secondary, at least in nickel packages, along with 2014 superstar cornerback recruit Jabril Peppers. Linebacker Jake Ryan is gone, but just about everyone else on the defensive front seven is back. The defense, very, very good. And then there's the offense. The playmakers have to emerge, and they have to be merely decent behind a line that gets all five starters back. But can anybody play quarterback? The Wolverines were ranked 109th or worse last season in passing, total offense, and scoring offense. But with that D, if the offense had done anything, the season might have been far different, and Brady Hoke probably would have still been the head coach. So can Harbaugh generate any magic in that first year? At least he'll get the Wolverines to a bowl game, but doing more is going to be tough. Going to Utah to start the season isn't easy, but the new head man can't ask for much more than getting Michigan State and Ohio State at home. There's no need for any ticket giveaways for those two, obviously. And no Wisconsin or Nebraska from the West was going to help. But it should still be an eight-win season for an improving Wolverines. I'm Pete Futak. To dive deeper into the 2015 Michigan season, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.